This is Mars, located over 100 million kilometers from Earth. And this is what NASA has discovered under the Martian ice caps, a doorway that looks like it's been carved on a cliff by a distant Martian civilization. Is this proof that the red planet was once inhabited by aliens? Geologists don't think so. They believe that the doorway is simply the result of wind scouring out the poorly consolidated sand and dust from the cliff's face. But can we really say that this mysterious figure, which has been labeled the face on Mars, is also an odd coincidence? What about the mysterious floating spoons, or this giant angel with a halo big enough to fit an entire city in it, and wings that stretch across hundreds of miles? In today's video, we're going to discover the strangest things found on Mars and how they ended up there. When NASA published an image of Cydonia, a region on Mars' northern hemisphere in 1976, the general public immediately recognized a huge face with a mouth, eyes, and even nostrils. Science fiction enthusiasts quickly dubbed it a Martian civilization's replica of the Egyptian Sphinx. This myth persisted for more than 20 years, but in 1998, images taken from a different angle made it clear that the face was nothing more than a combination of light and shadow on the uneven ground. In 2001, after seeing images taken by NASA's Mars Global Surveyor, British author Arthur C. Clarke observed an entire alien forest. He saw trees. And what was interesting about these trees was that they were in constant motion. Landscape features seemed to change with the seasons. He later stated, I'm now convinced that Mars is inhabited by a race of demented landscape gardeners. Ten years later, David Martinez, an amateur astronomer, discovered an entire settlement on the Red Planet, which he named Biostation Alpha. Martinez came to the conclusion that the picture depicts an underground bunker that Martians use as shelter, similar to secret facilities on Earth. But why do we keep finding oddities like that again and again on Mars? According to scientists, all those events were merely coincidences. Alfred McEwen, a planetary geologist from the University of Arizona, suggests that Biostation Alpha is a linear streak artifact produced by a cosmic ray. The Martian forest, according to experts, is simply a collection of complex patterns created by carbon dioxide, and its movement can be attributed to the dry ice's periodic thawing and freezing. The surface cracks are filled each time this takes place. To put it lightly, the frequency of these coincidences is intriguing. In 2015, a spacecraft spotted an angelic figure with a large heart on Mars weeks before Christmas. Was this an example of Christmas spirit by an alien race living on the Red Planet? Experts were quick to disprove it. They believe that the angel's wings were formed as a result of ice turning into gas in the summer months, and its halo when a celestial object slammed into the planet. New mysterious findings have also been photographed by Mars rovers. A perfectly sculpted entryway on a rock was another puzzling discovery made by Curiosity in 2022. The so-called doorway is only 30 centimeters tall, and according to geologists, it doesn't even lead anywhere, and it is simply many of the naturally occurring crevices on the cliff. But if angels, alien forests, doorways, and other bizarre objects don't exist on Mars, why do we keep seeing them? The answer is the human mind. Let's face it, this world is full of faces. They're on trees, buildings, and even food. We've all found similar shapes and clouds when we were children. Does that mean we're all a little bit crazy? Actually, no. We're just susceptible to pareidolia. This is the tendency to quickly identify familiar shapes in seemingly unrelated objects around us. This gave our ancestors the ability to distinguish friends from enemies or read emotions from a person's face, which presumably gave them a survival advantage. That is why every image of Mars sparks heated internet conspiracy theories, and it will continue to happen. 
But can we say for certain that every bizarre thing on Mars is a result of the human mind being prone to pareidolia? What if those people seeking the truth aren't entirely mistaken after all? In 2012, the Curiosity rover photographed a metallic item. It appeared to be the polished metal remains of an old Martian instrument. For a brief while, skeptics weren't convinced. But it turned out that the object in the photograph was really a broken piece of the rover. Most recently, NASA's Mars rover named Perseverance took a photo of a shiny silver object. It was identified as a piece of rare earth metal. Three years later, the rover captured what appeared to be a floating spoon. NASA's discovery quickly cooked up a storm on the internet. Does that mean we will soon find nearby mining equipment, iron, or other devices that the Martians use to process the minerals? According to the rover's controllers, Perseverance hauled the shiny space junk to Mars from Earth. As for the floating spoon, the space agency said it was simply a rock, sculpted over time by the Martian wind. Astronomers began exploring the red planet as far back as the 19th century. They discovered rivers and even artificial channels. They believed it was a blatant indication of alien life, but it was later discovered that the Martian reservoirs were simply remains of powerful earthquakes, mountain ranges, or the result of using bad equipment. For decades, the idea of water on Mars was deemed fictitious, until this tiny tadpole outline was captured by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2017. Its head is just a regular impact crater, but the tail is a bit more interesting. Scientists concluded that it's a riverbed, and the river coursed through the crater after the impact. Now we know that the researchers of the 19th century were right after all. There was once water on Mars. Other pictures have spotted traces of rivers where they previously went unnoticed. In 2018, the European Mars Express spacecraft discovered that the surface of the ice cap that covers Mars's South Pole dips and rises, indicating that liquid water may be present beneath. Is this proof that life is still present on Mars? Or maybe an indication that human settlement on the Red Planet isn't as far-fetched anymore? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and are interested in seeing more content like this, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.